They came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the Lower Ascension Station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiance, wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Codes hidden away in Gold's brain implant. And they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was... Everybody, Olav here, and welcome back to Deponia. Actually, this is Chaos on Deponia. Uh, this is the second in a total of four games. Yeah, four games. It was originally supposed to be just be the one, then they said, no, 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 we'll pump it out to a trilogy. Then I think people kind of complained about the ending for the third one, so they made a fourth one. But yes, this is Deponia 2, Chaos on Deponia. Now last time we saw gold going up to Elysium and uh, Rufus still had her backup cartridge, which means she, the, the cartridge that was in her head um, actually had like all the details for the fact that there was life down on Deponia. Which the Organons were were going to, the Elysiums were going to bomb Deponia because they thought it was empty, but it's not. Ah, yes. That wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, Shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Very oh, good uh, question. that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. You're being pathetic, 
Began about acrid bacteria in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to the tea socks I threw to clamshade shades orders some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? The stress growing on your time, panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. To start all over again. Trash. Trash. Well, at least they kept the the singers. And more. Hi, trash. Doc. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. Hey! There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. Yeah! So I am. I was gonna ask sure. you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. Right, toolbox. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. Okay, toolbox. Power inverter. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Fool. Hammer. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. Yeah, sure. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? <laughs> Never. Um, that, that doesn't sound good. Oh, oh, birdie, birdie in the bathroom, birdie. All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Your <laughs> fears are completely groundless. Birdie in the toilet. I'm very careful since his last adventure. So we don't want the birdie to go down. We want it to go up. So we put in the power inverter. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. Right. Now if we flush... We shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. It should go up. Uh, um... Well, if that's all you're worried about... Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. Nope, gonna totally do it on purpose. So maybe this button? He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good, good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. Right, so... Okay, so what, we need to stop up the, the... Oh, oh, there's the hammer. I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. Not the whole house. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? Right. Uh, tablecloth in the sink. You almost have me convinced, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp. Things are always getting caught in there. 
I'm just wetting the the oh, oh. Grandma, you worry about the silliest things. I was just trying to wet the 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 if you promise tablecloth me that he will be careful then everything is all right just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas promise. <coughs> then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Yeah, so silk tablecloth will enable us to pick up the hammer. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much. Exactly. Just a little fire. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is going to work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Right, so just step on the bellows. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, I think we need the... I... 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 Man. This this is a very Ooh, very familiar type of of always. puzzle. So knife on the hey, firework, right? I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? No, well not much. It's gonna <laughs> suck no matter what. So now we have with the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Right. Easy. And totally realistic. Yeah, hundred percent. Powder reaches the flames. It could ignite the gas, and then hmm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction, whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked! I saved Doc. Sorry, Doc. <laughs> Yeah, that's not. Oh, wow. It actually worked, kind of. Wow. It actually kind of worked. Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. 
The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Goal and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Goal convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now, it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gore. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. No, remember, he's lied to you before. The goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. Yeah. That's because you only know one part of goal. The part that is naive and idealistic. The goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of yours. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. What is that? So, ejector seat? That looks like an ejector seat. Huh, there's still dust on the label. <sighs> a shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an ejector seat. How did it change? Wait, there's more dust. <sighs> awesome! A bear! That's my favorite so far! There's no room for a bear. Huh. Must be the ejector seat after all. Good enough! I'm what's best for goal! No! Don't! Ha! Huh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... <sighs> Uh-oh! Goal! You idiot! Goal! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Goal! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Uh, yep. Ah! Ah! Good job, Cletus. Oh dear, what have I done? I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, mm, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect. Rufus? Rufus. Ouch. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailey. 
Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him, but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? Okay, well, I think that is where we are going to leave it for now. We'll be back with more next week um, and see what what fun stuff uh, <laughs> Rufus can get into. Until then, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to press the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav. Productions. If you want to see some crazy Cheerio! You should meet me and my friends. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of pre In 1995, they decided to spread their range even wider with a Star Wars first-person shooter by the name of Dark Forces.